All right, we're going to take a closer look at the sound tools in BeatStation by reworking the key components of a groove. First, I'll load up one of the organic stock kits, the DC. Now I'm going to start with the snare, getting rid of this piccolo sample and replacing it with a tribal hit. Let's pitch it by an octave to tighten it up. Now layering this vocoder sample, I want to tighten the slap echo. So let's offset it by 50 milliseconds. Finally, I'm going to fill out this snare pad with clap samples. With this 909 clap, I'm going to pitch it down by an octave until it sounds more like a gunshot. Okay, I'm happy with this snare pad. On to the kick. This soft Ludwig is nice, but I want something more unusual. So let's use a cajon and pitch it up an octave. To fill in the bottom end, I'll use an 808, but with some of the attacks softened and pitched up a fifth. Not everything on this pad needs to sound like a kick. I'm going to add something really high pitched. How about this? Okay, now with this snare sample, I'm going to reverse it. Offset it by 200 milliseconds and pitch it down an octave to make the kick sound like it's sucking the air out of the beat before each hit. All right, finally, I'm going to layer on a really organic body hit. Finish the whole thing off with an insert effect. Now for this bass instrument. It's pretty bland right now, so I'm going to use BeatStation Sample Recorder to capture a C note for my acoustic guitar using the Apogee One Mic. The first sample, I'm going to pitch up an octave and pan off to the side to give the bass instrument some harmonics. And the third layer will be pitched down an octave for some crunchy bottom end. For the lead instrument, I'll use an MP3 from my desktop of a flute I recorded last week playing a steady C note. I'm going to use this layer as a sort of reverb for the roads, but one with a totally different timbre. all the main components of this kit. And even though it's playing the same groove, I think we've got a much more powerful beat to work with now.